In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your first portfolio post. So, first thing, we need to go to our WordPress dashboard. Um, P admin, okay, and go to portfolio, add new. Um, a portfolio is actually just like a normal post. So we need to enter a title, let's call this my first portfolio uh, you can use uh, you can enter a description for your portfolio um, I don't know I'm just going to enter some text this is my portfolio description text um, I'm just going to multiply this a couple of times uh, Create a paragraph. Okay, um, the next thing uh, you want to do is actually select a category. Uh, these categories um, exist uh, here because we imported the demo data. Uh, you can always create new category by, cl by clicking on this uh, uh, link here, or you can um, just select exist existing uh, categories, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to uh, place this uh, portfolio item in the animation and uh, concepts uh, category right okay you have uh, the general options here which allows you to choose uh, to switch between the full width post and the half width uh, post um, first uh, we're going to try the the full width post uh, we want to show the page title okay let that uh, enabled uh, and just as a normal post you can uh, enter a um, a video ID from YouTube or a Vimeo and it will always uh, render first uh, before even the featured images okay um, scroll a bit down you can see the portfolio details um, these are actually the information that you need to enter to describe a little bit uh, more your um, the work you've done uh, for a certain client because uh, that's what portfolio should be used for so let's say that um, we just worked for a Coca-Cola company. I'm going to enter that name here. Uh, what skills uh, have we used? Well, uh, something like design and programming. Um, next, do you want to enter the, um, uh, the text um, that will be used as the link uh, to that uh, exact uh, project? For instance, maybe uh, the project that you created is um, a web page and you can show your visitors uh, how the that uh, page actually looks uh, uh, now uh, i mean live uh, on the internet so the website text uh, will create uh, and the website url will create a link that will uh, point to this uh, url uh, using this uh, text here right um, the last um, option that you see is the custom styling and uh, just as I showed you on the post uh, um, you can uh, set a, a background image uh, a background color you can specify how the background image if any used uh, will behave like uh, repeat uh, horizontally or vertically or maybe repeat on all uh, direction if uh, for instance you're using a pattern but remember that um, this uh, custom styling only works uh, if you are using the boxed uh, layout, not the wide layout, which I'm currently using. Right, so the last thing I want to do, I have entered a name, I have my uh, description text here, I um, made the right selection with the uh, width, um, I don't have any video to showcase, I, I'm just going to leave this blank and uh, this one as well. I entered the portfolio details, I don't need any custom styling since uh, I'm using the full, uh, the full, the wide uh, layout, sorry. Okay, the last uh, step I need to do is actually uh, use a featured image for, uh, for my portfolio. Okay, I'm clicking on the featured image. Um, I want to use... Um, uh, these uh, three pictures here for instance so I'm going to select this one first set as featured images image um, featured image num number two click on that link go to media library go to page uh, three actually browse around a, a bit more until you find the pictures you want from your gallery um, 
mm, just a second okay uh, so I said I want to use uh, no not this one let's browse even more okay uh, I want to use this one uh, the width is uh, okay it's bigger than nine or at least uh, nine uh, 940 pixels so I'm going to select this as my uh, featured image number two let's hide that um, and for featured uh, image number three I'm going to use this one okay all images uh, has been added oops except for image number two I think I made a uh, small error let's go back media library uh, page number nine if I remember right and set this as uh, featured image number two okay uh, click on publish we are all set our portfolio item um, should uh, look very nice now click on uh, view post I always tend to open this in a new tab okay and as you can see <clears throat> we have here our um, um, a slideshow like this the pictures look uh, great you can actually click on these pictures to view a bigger version of the pictures if that's the case okay you can see here the project description um, and here you can see the project details the client name which uh, we used as coca-cola uh, the skills design and programming um, what categories uh, is this uh, does this um, portfolio item belongs to which is animation and concepts and of course the the website um, that uh, uh, was generated uh, based on the details we enter here for website text and the website URL as you can see the website text is 1 million cola and um, the link actually points to the link uh, I entered here right this uh, this looks uh, very nice as you can see uh, the bottom of the page we have the uh, related projects um, okay we had an extra paragraph there that's uh, that's why the spacing is so big here right um, let's say that uh, we want to want to switch back uh, and use the health width but maybe we don't have uh, this much of a description for our um, project we just have a few uh, you know descriptive uh, text okay that's uh, the right moment to use uh, the health width still uh, this looks uh, pretty much like too much text I'm just going to use um, something like this my <clears throat> first portfolio is only having a short description that's why I am using the half width layout sorry about that okay go back hit refresh and as you can see this uh, looks uh, much better now we have our picture on the left our slideshow actually on the left all images are here we have the project details on the right uh, we have our sharing box if anyone is interested in our work uh, he can easily share our work our work on the major social uh, social networks Facebook uh, Twitter and so on we have a short very very short description here if you have um, a bigger description I always recommend to use uh, uh, the full width uh, post template um, another thing I want to show you is that you can go to appearance uh, team options and go to portfolio you can actually select uh, uh, to show the portfolio navigation or not by turning on and off this uh, button here you can even disable the project details which will hide uh, all this section um, you can uh, disable these uh, social sharing uh, icons and even disable the show related projects so let's see how uh, 
how our uh, portfolio item looks like now after we disable the portfolio navigation and the show project details option if I click refresh you can actually see that the um, uh, navigation button that was up here disappeared also the sharing box and all the project details disappeared you can now use a bigger uh, description uh, for um, for your portfolio let's say we want to copy this a couple of time times probably even more okay update go back hit refresh and as you can see we only have uh, the the pictures on the left and the project description on the right um, okay uh, let's go back let's say that you want to um, uh, disable the show related projects no problem just turn off this option go back and as you can see everything disappeared this is um, just a basic uh, project um, portfolio project with, uh, with nothing else to display but uh, the slideshow the images that were used in this project and of course uh, a short project description let's uh, go back and turn on the project details but this time um, you want to turn off the show uh, social sharing icons okay uh, let's uh, enable back the related projects um, hit refresh and as you can see the related projects are back uh, the project details are back as well but um, the social sharing icons are gone um, let's go back to our post let's say that you want to use uh, even a video here uh, I'm using this uh, video ID which is a uh, uh, just a, for demo purposes but um, let's say that I don't have a uh, website to link to and I um, haven't I don't want to showcase my uh, the project that the project skills just delete them you will always need to have at least this um, client name um, value entered uh, go back and refresh as you can see um, the project details are here but only the client name and um, uh, categories uh, where the portfolio uh, belongs to are actually appearing uh, the video is always uh, present here rendering first before the images okay right um, the last options that I want to uh, use is the show page title which I'm going to turn to no okay update go back refresh and as you can see the, the top um, the top title with the breadcrumb section has disappeared completely just like uh, I showed you for the posts um, okay, uh, forgot to mention. Let's see, um, because this is a uh, portfolio item. Uh, if you happen to use that th the 3D portfolio element, like we have uh, here on our fr front page, you can actually see um, that the the my first portfolio. Um, post that we just created the portfolio post that we just created uh, is present and it's rendering uh, pretty nice um, in a 3d uh, layout if you click on it you'll be taken to your actual page and um, if you ask me um, you should always uh, leave uh, the title here use the full width um, leave this uh, always try to try to uh, you know use uh, as much as much text and be as descriptive as possible um, sorry about that programming uh, okay one million and of course this one update hit refresh and this uh, looks much better now okay so this is about uh, everything i can teach you about uh, the portfolio uh, posts remember that this is just a normal post uh, just a um, 
just as uh, you did for uh, just as you can for a normal post to uh, enable the visual composer you can do the same thing for this uh, portfolio just make sure you disable this uh, project details um, option and you can uh, go ahead and use the visual composer elements uh, just as well um, so go to uh, team options portfolio um, show project details make sure it's turned off and it, you will have something like this okay remember that you need to go to settings and visual composer and make sure that uh, you choose um, for content types the creative portfolio uh, option as well scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on save changes head back to your uh, edit post uh, page hit refresh and as you can see the visual composer button has appeared copy your text uh, turn on visual composer add a row click on the plus sign add a text block paste here your text hit update and as you can see the uh, text is still here only this time we are using uh, uh, we are using the visual composer elements. You can uh, always add a new element, any element that you want will uh, render perfectly. Just make sure, remember that you turn off the project details option in team option. Okay, so that's about it for this uh, tutorial. So thank you for watching.